Today we will show you how to test the EWS using the test platform. Right now we have two EWSs. We have the EWS 3 Plus and 3, which is the same thing pretty much. And we have EWS 4.0, 4.1 and 4.3, which is also the same thing. Yeah, it's called EWS 4. And we also have the testing platform, which will allow us to identify if the key matches the EWS. And we can also test if the EWS and the key are able to communicate with each other, because even though they're programmed, it doesn't mean that they would fit perfectly. So first of all, let's talk about what does this uh, test platform consist of. So it got the constant power of 12 volts, uh, which gives it to this uh, uh, red ring. Um, and when you have it, uh, the diode that's on the red ring will uh, fire up. And we also have uh, two diodes that's on the uh, motherboard one of them indicates that yeah we do indeed have the constant power and uh, that's the red one and the yellow one uh, will show us the connection between the key and the EWS so now what we will do is uh, we'll take the EWS and I want to show you that the connectors that this test platform got is the same thing as uh, we have on the EWS. So everything that we need to do is we just need to um, put it inside of the EWS and then connect the 12 volts so you will have power. Once you will connect the test platform to the EWS and then put the 12 volts, we will see the constant power uh, where the red diode will turn on and we will see the blue light, which means that um, it's ready to receive uh, the key. So now let's put the key inside and we will show you how it all works okay so once we put the key in we have the yellow uh, diode we see it's light up and now we remove the key and in just a moment this yellow diode will disappear now we will connect the EWS 4 and the concept is the same the connectors are the same, we just connect it, put the 12 volts in and then we'll grab the key that fits that car and put it on top and you will see that the light will also turn yellow which means that there is the information transmitting from the key to the EWS and from the EWS back to the key. Alright, so let's remove the key and the yellow diode must turn off. So now, just so you understand, we will take the key from the EWS3 and put it on this one and you'll see that you don't have any yellow diode, which means that the EWS cannot read this key. Now we put the proper key in and the light is on. Alright, so we put the proper key in to the EWS4. Uh, the EWS is able to read the key. That's about it. That's all what this platform is doing. It's important that uh, you know if your key is working or not. So now we, we remove the key. Uh, the yellow light will turn off. That's everything that this platform is doing. So if you have the same exact uh, problem or issue with your EWS, it's really easy to test it if you have this platform useful tool and we showed it to you how exactly this tool is working thank you very much for watching this video leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye